Hey Siri, play Straight From The Deck by Ghetto Mafia. I didn't find that on Apple Music. Yeah, you did. Bitch. YouTube, what's good? It's your boy, Wavy. I know this is my channel, Mr. Orchard Beach. If you're new to the channel and you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, hit that subscribe button, like, comment, all the above. All right, not much time to talk, but before I do start talking, let me get 400 likes on this joint, man. I appreciate it. Yo, Um, one thing that I do enjoy about life in general you never know what the hell's gonna happen today i was sitting around like damn what kind of content can i can i come up with i hop out i start shooting bow 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 shot the nigga bow shot his ass bow 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 all the niggas run out the door they run out the door i don't like doing the whole like speaking about things even though y'all might enjoy it i feel like i really like to you know really go out and about especially if i'm doing if i do do something that i'm just talking about a sneak that i don't have in hand i want y'all to see my day but anyway i did have something planned but I can put that off till tomorrow. Shout out to my man. He got kicks. He did leave to uh, Birmingham on the bigger and better things, you know. I was watching his Insta story, then I, I seen some sneaks, and it was like they in store. I'm like, oh shit, um, what store is that? I knew he was in Bowling Green. He was like, oh, it's in Bowling Green. Whoa, we didn't ask you that. What store? Man, listen, stop fucking double talking me. Because I already planned. I said, man, I go down there and cop. You know what I'm saying? They got him. So he was like, yo, it's at Hibbit. Then I was like, oh shit, let me call. But then he was like, oh, my old store got them so got a setup that uh i go up in there and i'll be able to secure a pair man i did want these these were a sneak that i had mentioned by saying if i didn't get them oh well but i do want these now since i'm gonna be able to get them at retail good chill and kill probably a travel sneak whatever but I'm, I'm about to go cop these joints so and hopefully i can look around in the store but anyway man let's get up to louisville you already man i'm like a road warrior out here word up 400 likes you already out homeboy never release my dick because they're screaming for bloody shit when i be playing tricks on the minds of these niggas that think they know but nobody knows me but me myself and i the lord and my uzi so when i make this mother throw niggas best to get the duck i'll catch this buck Fool like him to fucking him down to do a pull up on that ass Let the trigger go blast, fuck a body Ain't no paramedics, nigga Say I break my gap When I be popping the clipper for something Cause if I'm strapped, I'll never be back with my shit for nothing So fool, put your nuts up, cause mine on the table Plus I got some back from every G that's on my label And in the front, I teach my little friend Piece the L, bucket, chrome, back 10 Just pulled up the Hibbit We're about to fall up in here like I said, I probably look around. Kind of reminds me of like a um. I ain't gonna say. I ain't gonna say what other store it reminds me of because it's about Hibbit, you know. Or so um. Looking around though. <laughs> looking at this strip mall look, it's probably safe to say we're kind of close to the hood. Yeah. Whenever you see a roses, what a roses is that I've learned is like a Kmart that got left behind in the '80s. Yeah, and now I heard there's no such thing as Kmart no more. I, I, as far as I know, I don't know, but yeah, so. Oh, but now it's Rose's Express, excuse me. Anyway, man, so um, we'll fall up in this joint right quick, see what they got, see what they got. Coming through, bitch, shining like candy paint. Bitch niggas be trying to test me, but they know that they can't. So many that want to be built, so many that try to be mad. So many that pussy ass niggas be ending up on their back. Now I did explore the universe, me and Big Bun. And I was a legend in Texas before I made 21. Niggas rap about guns, but they scared to pop. Some niggas kill it on Willis, but they scared to shoot cops. I heard some niggas talking about super type, what the shit. Me and Bun stop rapping and we was broke in a bitch. Talk about we smoke too much weed and we got dropped off a job. No way got it and well, it was a motherfucking lie New York, I'm the apple that they eye Long live, slipping, baby, cash money, niggas never die Pimp see the bitch, niggas ride my dick like they want to be You squeeze my nuts, you niggas need to release I'd rather do you than deal with you So who that, who that wanna do that, do that I've had to do you, then deal with you. You know what I'm saying? So, and they're just like a robbery, and I decided to go ahead and hit up uh mall is this? I don't know the same same St. Matthews Mall. Um Yo, this mall stay crowded. And one thing about this joint, VIP parking ain't really in effect like that. Yeah, dig. First thing I want to do, I want to get some of that bubble tea. Shout out to um Jumpin' Man Chris for turning me on to that. So I took care of me, took care of baby wavy. <laughs> Cause I got one more person on my list to find something for today on my list and we're good. I'm gonna head on back to um Fort Knox 
and we're gonna check out these joints, man. I'm still kind of hyped though that I found that, that I got them, cause like I said, I was like, yo, if I couldn't get them in retail, no, no, oh well, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. So anyway, let me get up in here right quick. Ow. <laughs> So this cat yesterday, shout out to you. Forgot your name, I'll throw it up there. You said it said brillos. I used to always think they were talking about pillows. And of course, not the ones you lay with, but the ones you play with. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's what I thought they was talking about. Dress, five, one. Watch it mess it up. Wicked! And all my boys from Houston, Texas. What about down in Dallas? Me and Smooth can do sippy talk D. On that to 94. On the half a kilo. Until the fans kick the dough. She ain't on the condo. I'm off the chain. This that shit right here, boy. Take a trip with me as I infiltrate your noggin. I'm to the point of mind bobbing. Keep it drawing. If you swing, I'm bobbing. Even if I'm dubbed, got mobbing. The only double corner in my joint. I started listening to um, Texas music around 2000 and I think 2001, 2002, something like that, or let's just say late 2002. But the joints that I was listening to was already older by then. Then I was just connecting the dots. And I'm talking about like, like screwed up click, big pokey, hog, fat pat, like all them, that, that type of, um, that type of shit. I remember when Texas made that, like that real run, like the, uh, the commercial run or when, People start taking notice like BET or whatever. Uh, this was around, I want to say, 04, 05. And this is just in my mind. You can be like, oh, no, nah, it was a, yeah, yeah. I'm talking about like when um, uh, Still Tipping and all that came out. Yeah, that was, still, yeah, was Still Tipping and all that. But one thing, man, I felt that, uh, I felt that they took everything, like the vultures came and took everything. Oh, what, grills? Oh, we'll take that. Uh, Mine? Oh, we'll take that. This, we'll take that. And they just, just stripped everything till there was nothing left. And then another thing, it seemed like, um, like with that B foot on um, flipping on um, tip, it seemed like uh, a lot like the Texas rappers was like siding with, with flip. Uh, I mean, with tip, my bad. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> well, yeah, it seemed like a lot of them was siding with tip. So, I kind of killed him right there. But now, nah, I remember like, listen, Botany Boys and all them, like Fat Pat, but listen to some of them lyrics, man. <laughs> it was just kind of like, <laughs> I think it was just some, just some strong ass drug dealers that decided to rap. I load 18 with a for the yell. No clue for the smell. Hold about my meal. Red dot reflector. 50 pound dissector when I'm buying from Hector. As a matter of fact, speaking of Big Pokey, I see he dropped an album called uh, Sensei. And I used to hear about him talking about Sensei. I think it was a dog. Hardest bit in the litter. And he's like, oh, something with Sensei off the chain. I used to want to, um, a dog and name him Sensei. <laughs> it just got As far as like new Texas artists that I listen to, I, I fucks with Sauce Walker. You better maximize your wealth when you start clocking cheese. You better start copping some real estate if you chopping keys. Hell uh, yeah. A matter of fact, he did a remix on that swing and bang. Shit was dope. Word. Then, 
um, on a like doubling back when I started listening to ESG and some of his joints when he was like 1994 on a half a kilo until the feds kicked the door. Then it hit me that that's who Bum B was talking about when he like peace to ESG and all the victims of all the old shit. Like, all right, but yeah, nah, I fucked with all, Lil Kiki, all that. Yeah, word up. Put the camera down right quick for go on base. Base. How low can you go? Death row. What a brother know. Yeah. But don't 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 play like I you know what I'm saying it's still East Coast. <laughs> oh yeah, useless information. One thing about Fort Knox Gate, I don't know if um they don't play that like disrespect shit, but yo, these are some of the most respectful um gate guards I've ever <laughs> come to uh interact with. Word. Cause they say some of them bases it's like they be on some like Okay, now what the fuck do you want? Try to get on base. Not that it's any of your business, but shit. But yeah, nah, I used to like color change and click all that shit. One thing I didn't um appreciate is when, you know, like when that Texas music started getting like real, like um, like the mainstream took a hold of it, you would start seeing cats that you know they wasn't never listening to, you know, that type of that type of flavor. You know, yeah, they play the still tip and then you Mike Jones, like, yeah, I get it, that was cool. But I used to be like, yeah, what about like, you know, big pokey? You know what I'm saying? Any K Reno, anything like that? Uh, um, Michael Watts? Yeah, I mean, I get it. Switch House, yeah, yeah, but what else? Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Body Boys? C No? Work with me here. And then it kind of like, I don't know. I don't know what happened with that, but yeah, nah, I, I just like, I really like their rhymes. They were some, some storytellers, and you should really talk about that, uh, you know, moving them things for real. Uh, yeah, that shit used to impress me back when I was um, uh, the front runner for who wants to fuck up their life and all the fundamentals that your parents have built for you for no reason. That's me. That's when that used to impress me. Yeah. <laughs> shit that. All right, took a little break from the game. Kind of um, tight, I'm rocking a, a A cap. Brother, it's halftime and it's like, boy, this is the sloppiest game I've seen. But anyway, tried to do the um, little unboxings outside i was getting a lot of um interruptions all right like i said before it starts raining yo it looks dark as shit bro damn yo this is funny man this is like the most i think the most low-key spot if it's sports shout out to my man the real he got kicks y'all ready appreciate you um so i went in there for my joints but i was like might as well keep spending the bit you know boom got baby wave something damn uh uh go mx 90s Matching. Kind of matching me, you know what I'm saying right now. <laughs> Alright, so I went to St. Matthew's Mall. Went to the Foot Locker. Boom. Scoop my ribs up some, uh, some drags. I've been wanting to get at these for a minute. Bam. Uh, only thing is, man, she is hell with the snakes, man. Hell on them snakes. You know what I'm saying? I got a story I'll tell later, but anyway, yo, this is Triax. I think these were like, uh, I think 100 retail. I use my military discount, you already know. Saved. So what? These sneaks here. I said if I couldn't get them for retail, didn't want them. Shout out to my guy. He got kicks, man. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yes, got them in retail. 13s, we're not, no um, review, nothing like that. I will show y'all some beautiful B-roll. Hopefully it's sunny tomorrow. Now, at first when I seen these, this is what I seen, this is what I didn't like. That's the shit I didn't like. But uh, nah, it's all good, man. It's all good. I know it's so for that. fucking good, nigga. Man, oh uh, yeah, at retail. I, I was still like looking at these joints, man. I ain't going to lie. I was like, man, I just didn't want to go through stock X. And then by the time I'm ready to pay for these joints, then you got to pay that extra damn near $70 just to um, get them. So I was like, nah, we, we not doing that. And matter of fact, when I was in the one store, I think it's Capsule. Yo, these joints was like three fifty in the damn um, size 11. I was like, yeah, all right. I did see these in uh, a store. I didn't ask if they had my size, but yo, they had nine and a half. I was willing to go down to Bowling Green to um, grab these joints. So for real, I had to get a nine and a half because they didn't have a, a size 10. So what I did prior was got in my old flints barefoot. And I was like, all right, you know, so I can wear um, naked socks with these joints. You know? In one of my videos, I did hear somebody say that these joints are gonna age pretty well, they think. Uh, yeah, they could, cause I still wanted them even though I did not get them. But yeah, finally got them. The real chill and kill sneak right here, word. This is like my third Jordan 13, if I'm not counting like double ups and stuff like that. But I got the flints, I got these joints, and I got the He Got Games. That's pretty much all I want when it comes for the 13s. Y'all already know me, man. Um, Anything past the 12, no 
what's up. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, no, I like these joints. Uh, now I can hit up uh, into the AM and tell them that it's a shirt that I want to go with these. But yeah, no, uh, real chill and kill. I can see some um, some nice. Well, I already did the damn. What would I rock? So we ain't even gotta get into that. We can just get the hell out of here, and I can finish watching my Knicks. Uh, Think it up, but man, let's go New York with, a, with an A cap on. But anyway, yo, I'm about to get up out of here. Shout out to the Wave Marshall, to everybody that's been rocking with me. Commented, liking, all that. Hey, 400 likes on this joint, man. If you don't mind, I got more joints um, on the way. Really, I don't, but I got some plans, though. You know what I'm saying? So um, hopefully, y'all like this vid, man. I'm gonna get up out of here. Y'all ready? Follow me on that Snap, follow me on the IG, follow me on that Twitter, that Twitter B. That snuffs. Bull wave, you already know this is my channel, Mr. Beach. Like I always like to say, see you when I see you.